All right, Senator Dismang, you're recognized. My question is just to circle back, because it sounded like we just stumbled upon something that was not seen even before just a few minutes ago, and that's the question of sovereign immunity and the fact that it was waived in this newest version that was uploaded, and I don't, from what I understood, was not in the previous version that was uploaded. Who advised the change to waive that in this newest contract that came forward? I, one of y'all are going to have to turn off the mic. Senator, I'll have to go back and figure that out. The staff that I talked to said they did not put that in there, so I'm not sure where that came from at this moment. Well, but that, that's, you couldn't have not put it in there intentionally. It doesn't pre-format that way when you're filling it out. So someone intentionally changed that. Was the attorney advising on the submission of his own proposal? Not to my knowledge, he wasn't. Not but with anybody in my office. I am perplexed on how that could possibly be changed. There's only very few people that that would benefit. That change would benefit. And it is not the people of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I, like, I'd almost demand before we do much more to know who made that change and why, who would be willing to put Arkansas in that position. I mean, that that's careless and reckless and... I would hope as board members you're going to be demanding action for whoever made that call because that's that's not insignificant. And then we're sitting here blindly being asked to approve a contract that was resubmitted within the last, how long? Uh, several days that would have essentially waived the rights of the state. I'm sure we can find an answer to who put that in that. Uh, I don't have an answer for you since I didn't... How, how is that possible? Uh, how does no one know who uploaded the most recent and made changes that had to be intentionally made? I, I really am dumbfounded in the response. Senator, uh, the, only, the only change that I know of that was made was the, the first contract that we submitted did not have signatures on it. The second one had signatures on it. I don't know of any other changes that were made to that document when it was entered. Well, maybe we'll find out that it was originally submitted with the waiving of sovereign immunity, and maybe we didn't catch it the first round. I don't know. It was not. I'm I will find out. Shake. Okay, so the, the the change wasn't just, yeah, I mean, I. that's a big deal. <laughs> and, so, and I don't think we need to underestimate, you know, understate how big of a deal that was. And whoever did that you know, exposed a lot of risk. And you all sitting down here in, in wanting to pursue this, exposes the state of Arkansas to a lot of risk. I am shocked that you wouldn't withdraw at this very moment and move on. That would be my advice. All right, thank you, Senator Dismang. Senator Dees, you're up next. Uh, 